your patient is having a blood transfusion reaction. What do you do? In my last video, many of you gave amazing answers of what you do in this situation. Let's go over them. First, it's important to be able to identify your patients having a reaction. This could manifest as chills, fever, shortness of breath, hypotension, rash, itching, etc., depending on the patient and type of reaction. If you notice your patient exhibiting any of these symptoms, first, stop the transfusion immediately. Second, get new IV tubing and run normal saline wide open. Do not use the same blood tubing as this will be flushing more of the blood into the patient. Then, call the provider and blood bank and follow your facility protocol. This usually involves taking frequent vital signs, giving medications as ordered, sending the blood product and tubing down to the lab to be analyzed, and obtaining specimens as needed. It's important to closely monitor your patient during this time and provide reassurance as needed. There are multiple practices in place to avoid transfusion reactions as much as possible that may vary per facility, which is why it's so important to refer to your protocols and always ask questions if you're questioning something. What other processes are in place that you'd add to the list? Let me know in the comments below and check out the full study sheet in the nursing school success bundle.